are on a backpacking trip, first trip in the Sierras. Today we're in the John Muir Wilderness. I think this is our first time in the backcountry of the John Muir Wilderness, but we're hiking Big Pine Lakes today. Ever since I saw these lakes, they have been on my bucket list of hikes to do. It's pretty hard to get a permit here, so if you're thinking about doing this, definitely book six months out, especially during the weekends and in the summer. Um, we're here in, what is it right now, June, and I think it's perfect weather. It's not too ho cold, hopefully it's not gonna get too hot. I heard the mosquito situation might be a little bad, but we'll see how it is. So far, the beginning of the hike is pretty hard, but we're gonna press on through. exposed section is right there and it goes around that hill and that's where the overnight parking lot is. What's up guys? Welcome to Scar's Thread. It's Tyler. <laughs> so we're hiking um, and it's not bad. Uh, what are you talking about? It's great. Very <laughs> easy. It's kind of bad. It's, kind of, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard but it's all right. I think uh, it mellows out a little later as long as you're having a good time though, right? So. Go Saki, go! Finally, we are hitting the woodsy part of the hike. The first mile was super exposed, all uphill. I would say like the first two miles was pretty hard. And if you're starting your hike a little later, you're gonna have a lot of sun but starting from mile two there's like three little switchbacks and then you start to hike in a more forested area and the stream is right next to you too so that's nice but not an easy hike Much better being in the shade. I'm such in a better mood right now. See? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I feel really good. It might be a combination of the goo, the yeah. shade. By the way, that's our friend Paul back Hello. there. Paul, introduce Hello. yourself. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm. Uh, I also record hiking videos. Yeah, check yeah. out his videos. I'll link him right here. The stream is right next to us. Do you hear it? <laughs> so as you can see, this is a Gregory backpack with a hat on top. <laughs> There's a person behind it, okay? <laughs> There's a person here. Oh, it grew arms. So it's exactly nine o'clock right now. We walked 2.72 miles and we finally hit the log cabin. So apparently some famous person built this cabin like years, like a century ago or something like that. So they can come out here and, and enjoy the wilderness. But he ended up, I think, dying before he was able to use it. But now we can enjoy it. Let's go check it out. Yeah! Ooh. Oh, that's cool, sick. Hi. Long Chaney Cabin. Wait, what's the guy's name? Long Chaney. Long Chaney. Long Chaney. Long Chaney. Cleanliness first. Um, so we, we're taking a break here at this cabin. Um, supposedly a guy made it long time ago. But it's really nice. It's like right on the river. Um, I think this is halfway, maybe a little more than halfway. And so we're going to set up shop here, eat some snacks, some M&Ms, replenish our calories. But so far so good. So I feel like right before we hit the cabin, it was pretty smooth sailing from there. But after the cabin, it gets a little bit more challenging again. 
um, the incline starts to pick up. But the good thing is that most of it is shaded. The trail is more packed, so it makes it a little bit easier. I still feel like mile one was the hardest so far. Awesome. We made it! Look, it's sick. First lake! Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's actually bigger than I thought. Ten fifty six, and we made it to Second Lake. heading out to the glacier, Palisade Glacier. I don't know the exact measurement, but it seems to be about a five mile hike there. There is some elevation gain and it hurts like super exposed at the top. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, I think we're okay if we're just hiking for the day and not completely summiting, but it was nice to just have a slow morning. The only thing about these camp spots are like no shade. Mm. Everything's super exposed. So by the time it hits like seven o'clock, you're in full sun and until nighttime. Until literally the sun goes down at like right. eight o'clock. Yeah. So the sun feels warm, but when you're in the shade, it feels nice. Mm. But the sun is hot, so that's the only thing. So we're gonna get a move on it and then we'll see this glacier. So another cool thing about our Gregory packs is that it comes with a little day bag inside. Check that oh my god. Check that out. So in it, we put our water bladder, could fit our lunch, our jet boil. Mine's this color. That's kind of nice, so we don't have to bring like a separate bag for it. Yeah, and it holds your bladder pretty well. Mm -hmm. okay. All of our water bladders are filled and we are ready to go to the glacier. Here's Third Lake, about 0.71 miles from Lake Two. So as we're going higher and higher, we're getting way more flowers, plant life. It's so green. And the corn lilies, which are my favorite. So here is a fork. If you go that way, you can see lakes four through seven. And if you go this way, that's where we're going. We're gonna go to the glacier. So it's been about 1.45 miles of walking, 50 minutes. How are you feeling? Okay, I feel a lot better. There's a lot of mosquitoes here. It's kind of hard just resting. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. So in 
it's 9.54. We started about an hour ago-ish. And that's right here. Right there. It looks like we're about halfway. Our first sighting of snow. Can't believe it, it's June. Wow, this trail is so nice. Look, it's just like a, a little meadow with the river running through. I don't know if it's because when we're coming up to Second Lake yesterday, like we're just so exhausted with our packs and we're only looking at the ground, but the trail from Lake 2 to Glacier, like this is the Sierras. It's good. Look at this wildflower. I know. Stream. Wildflowers. So this cool. like flat lake here. Oh my god. Paul. <laughs> this is so nice. Wow, this trail just keeps getting better and better. Look at this river. Taking a quick snack break before what I think we're gonna hit like the super exposed bouldery section. Well, that scrambling part was sketch. <laughs> You're basically just bouldering over huge rocks, and the air is a lot thinner up here. We gotta climb all of this. Holy crap, we made it. The most southern glacier in the world, Palisade Glacier. That was literally the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, I think. Yeah, honestly, I think the physical part of it wasn't too bad. It's just the elevation. But we're here. I don't know if we're gonna go down all the way. Yeah, we'll eat if we have to. Yeah. But it's like one o'clock. So it took us a total of four hours to get here from Lake Two. But we'll have lunch and see how we feel. I mean, it would be pretty cool if we went down, but if we go down, that means you have to go back up. <laughs> so we are at 12,513 feet. I think that's the highest I've ever hiked for lunch today. We got spaghetti. Oh my god. Oh, it's so soft. soft. The heck? I thought it'd be hard. Oh my gosh. Holy. Oh my god, that's so cool. I, I need to come out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Post glacier hike relaxing. All right, so where we just came back from is somewhere like over those ridges. That was honestly the hardest hike of my life. For sure. Hands down. The hardest hike of my life too. 
I think like the air was just so thin up there and scrambling that hat. Oh my god. Hey! Come away. Ah! Okay, okay, don't aggravate him too much. He's gonna stink you. He's trying to stink you. <laughs> Our last dinner. What are you eating for dinner, Paul? I'm eating lasagna and meat sauce. Lasagna? With sriracha, because you can't eat any of this stuff without sriracha. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> Sponsor me, sriracha, please. I put it on everything. in the car, um, left around 7 in the morning, hike here, 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 first lake, and second lake, that's where we camped. The next day, we went along this trail here, and then thing the left, to go this way, we explored the Sam Mac Meadow a little bit, and then came all the way down here to Palisade Glacier. Another hike that a lot of backpackers do is so they'll set up Kevin Second Lake and then go to all the other lakes here. But these three lakes I think are the most vibrant and blue. When we were up here at the glacier, we did have views of these lakes, but they were very dark, you know, definitely not as blue as these lakes. But wow, looks like there are a lot of lakes around this area. 